Buenos dias. It is day five of our Galapagos tour, and this is actually the final day. Oh, we are up so early. It's 5.45 a.m. because we're heading to Charles Darwin Station uh, before everyone goes their separate ways. Last night was fantastic. I didn't shoot a lot just because it was just really nice to spend time with both the guests and the staff. So it's four nights, five days. However, they had this video and photo presentation. The guides took photos of everyone and it felt like we had been here for so long. So many pictures of everyone and just so many memories in such a small amount of time. Then we had a toast, took pictures, exchanged information. It was just really nice. I'm actually really gonna miss some of these people and it's funny because it hasn't even been a week. So it's 5.45 a.m. I'm having an amazing final breakfast on this ship. I have to say, I have loved the food. I got another energy drink. Also, one of my favorite things in the world, one of my favorite Ecuadorian foods in the world, yapping gachos, which is a traditional dish from the Andes in Ecuador. It is basically like the creamiest potato cake you can ever have, and it's with some incurtido, which is pickled onion and tomato. And then also because Luis is such an amazing server, he brought me a tall black tea because he knows that's what I've been drinking. He doesn't have to ask anymore. Anyway, kind of sad. I'm sad to leave people. I'm sad to leave the boat. However, I've been to the Galapagos once. This is my second time and I do see it in my future again. Plus, I'm not actually leaving the Galapagos. Today, I'm heading to a Pinch Bay Hotel. So I still have more Galapagos adventures. It's just not on this ship. Gracias. Well, and after several years that they were trying and uh, keeping them in captivity, reproducing them in captivity, so now the population is okay. More or less 2,300 of tortoises have been repatriated since that time. So this year, all the tortoises, including the adults, were repatriated, including Diego. Center. The name is Ruta de la Tortuga or the Tortoise Tour. This is relatively new. As you see, we find very nice plants, very nice decoration, natural decoration. These are the mangroves. The other day, somebody asked me about the, this kind of mangrove. This is called the Butong mangrove. Look at the, the seeds hanging down. These seeds are not for people because these are so hard seeds. However, the Darwin finches are very happy because they feed on this. This is one of the four different species of mangroves that we find in the Galapagos. Right here is a wasp trap. 50 years ago, wasps arrived on a cargo ship, they think. But wasps actually kill the carpenter bee, which is the pollinator in the Galapagos. And so they are trying to get rid of it. It does not belong here. We are on the Tortuga Path to uh, the Darwin Center and we're on the Tortuga Path on the way to the Charles Darwin Center and it's a beautiful path, lots of things to learn, native species, it's a great way to start this. It's new, I've never seen it before but it's a great way to start the day. If you go to one island, one specific island, you will see all the tortoises with only one special type of shell. If you go to another island, you will see only the dome shape, for example, like here in Santa Cruz. But here in this center, obviously, we can see them combined, right? In spite that they are coming from different islands, however, they are living in captivity. Why? Because some of these tortoises were living with local families in the past, with the first colonizers. They collected them, they were living with them, they were feeding on them with the vegetables, for example. When the National Park was created, 
all the tortoises were separated, were collected. Some of these tortoises now are living in the wild, but unfortunately some of them that couldn't be living in the wild, couldn't find food by themselves in the wild, they are still here. So the tortoises we see moving forward are either those that are being bred and taught how to feed for themselves and then the older ones are ones that were in captivity or in people's homes and they are not able to find their own food. So that's why they have homes here, not the same as when you go to a zoo. Okay, so this is not just for tortoises. This is actually an area to breed iguanas as well. And this one right here, the rose iguana, um, at one time there were only 70 of them. And because of the breeding program, there are now 5,000. So when you think about the $100 that you have to pay to get to the Galapagos for that kind of visa charge, this is what it goes to. It goes to actually programs where they are bringing back the species that may have been lost. So it's $100 I am happy to pay. And one of the programs that the National Park is working on with the Darwin Foundation is actually to protect these finches because there are only 17 pairs left because there is now a fly that feeds on uh, the blood of the baby chicks and so they won't know for 10 years whether it's going to work or not but they have a program right now to help with the incubation and to breed these finches. the baby tortoises in there and so once they reach two years of age they're no longer vulnerable to the rats and so they will be either returned to uh, islands where they belong or uh, different centers for breeding. More of these insect traps to keep out the wasps. Wasps. <laughs> what they're gonna feed the turtles. For the small ones, they cut it up. For the big ones, they can just leave it like this. That's why they were a little bit cranky with each other. It was feeding time and they were hangry. So it looks like in partnership they are trying to make Galapagos green by 2050. Restoration of endangered endemic species populations using water saving technologies. Water, fresh water is a huge deal here. They don't have enough of it for the population so they do have to bring a lot of it in. This was a beautiful visit. If you think you're kind of just going to go to some building and look at some things, absolutely not. You walk through, you interact with things, you see tortoises of different sizes and it's really beautiful here. It's a great hour, hour and a half. <laughs>